we've been going for five, nearly six years now, and obviously the business has grown and diversified. Um, but I think some things, you know, that we've learned, we think make it critical to the success that we've had. I think really that it's all about brand. You know, it's, it's just all about brand and getting your brand out there and being incredibly disciplined about what you do and feeling that it's true to the core values of the brand. It's, it's also all about marketing. And I think that one of the things for online businesses is that offline marketing is just as important uh, for online businesses as for offline. And in fact, in fact, oddly, our focus up to this point has been more offline than online, although we're now having to kind of reverse that as we go into kind of next phase of our growth. And I think because ultimately, you know, you can't afford to be complacent because businesses can't stand still. You know, if you're not growing, you're dying. So essentially, um, and I think that the, the more your business develops, the more you have to plan even further ahead in terms of what you think your business will look like in three years' time, in five years' time, you know, which way you're going to go. And then, of course, the quality. You know, never stop worrying about the customer experience because at the end of the day, the business is only as great as, you know, the customers think it is. So, you know, we try to take, you know, very, very seriously every customer complaint or anything we might have because, you know, it's everything from some things that are more difficult for us to control, like delivery and those kind of things. But, you know, you have to engage with, you know, it's, it's very little sort of logistical business to run a direct business. And those are the kind of things that are, can be quite difficult to get right. Um, and the, the good news, I think, is that if you're an online business like ours, you can really hit above your weight in terms of profile um, through really effective PR and marketing. That's the great joy of the internet and online businesses. So I suppose finally, you know, we think we're fairly near the start of our journey as opposed to the end, like uh, James, and because really we, we reckon that of the potential customer base for Biscuiteers, we've touched only a tiny proportion of them. Um, so our real priority is to build a, a premium direct business. That's, that's our focus, as well as possibly, in our case, exploring some international opportunities. Um, and obviously simultaneously ramping up our production capacity. Um, and in many ways, that's the most interesting challenge of all, um, because what we've done is we've created a very modern online biscuit business, but we've based it entirely on traditional handmade production values. Um, and that can be quite interesting sometimes. Thank you. <laughs>